You look great. You look skinny, though. Yeah, I'm a little thinner. It's okay, isn't it? Y well, uh, it depends, <laughs> but yes, you look, you look great. Are you like you want to be? Well, actually, it's sort of, I lost weight without trying to, so I guess it's okay. That's good. I wish I looked like this. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah then I really have some ratings. <laughs> no, you, you look can borrow the dress if you want. Uh, that's right. <laughs> you know, I'm game for anything. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's talk about Dynasty. Yes, good idea. <sighs> I hear you had to teach a little uh, romance <laughs> etiquette over on the set. Oh, um, <laughs> well, the, yes, there's a, there's a new chap who's playing my love interest this year. His name is Ray Bruton. And he's been the romantic lead before, so he's never done kissing on camera or a bed scene on camera. And uh, so I had to kind of, you know, for the first time we, I had to show him the ropes and I was gentle with him, of course. And uh, Now, what does it entail? Well, for instance, when I'm supposed to be naked, so I'm just wearing a body stocking, but it's still, I don't want to show that to the crew. It's mm -hmm. embarrassing. So when he gets out of bed, he shouldn't, like, whip the sheet off. <laughs> That's not fair. So I had to say, excuse me, you know. Yeah. Please respect my, you know. And my when body stocking. Right, yeah. respect my body stocking. <laughs> and then when we're under the sheets, you know, also, that's, if the camera doesn't see it, you don't do it, sort of thing, you know? Yeah. You <laughs> <laughs> But he was wonderful, and that's now kind of a rule in life. Kind of, uh, <laughs> in my house, when the camera's not on, you know, don't do it. Um, <laughs> but no, he's a wonderful actor, and he's he's picking it up very fast. <laughs> Remember the, uh, uh, the General Hospital set mm -hmm. a long time ago mm -hmm. when you were doing the scene with uh, Geary? What's yes. his name? Tony Gary. Yeah, and he played Luke, and you yeah. were Holly then. Right, right. You remember what he used to do? Uh, are you kidding? Of course I remember. He did his bed scenes naked. Really? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. And the way but. you found out was very, very strange. <laughs> 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 you know, it's like, hey! <laughs> Want to get this idiot a body stop here, please? <laughs> now, have you ever done a love scene? Um, the closest I got to a love scene was uh, in Coming to America, and uh, Akeem had to come in and interrupt it all. You know, oh. I was just about to get something. He's, what are you doing? You know. <laughs> I'm like, oh man. But did you enjoy it up until that point? Or yeah. It, but it's kind of nerve-wracking, really, isn't it? I mean. Well, no, it wasn't nerve-wracking for me. As a matter of fact, you know what? <laughs> You know how actresses, they have to tell their husbands and boyfriends that, you know, it's just acting, honey. Mm -hmm. Bull. <laughs> because I was enjoying it. I mean, I would mess up a scene so I could do it again, you know? <laughs> how can you kiss somebody and rub somebody and hold somebody and say, it's just acting? Because it's all so choreographed. You have to put your face here and then here, and you careful you don't squish the nose too much, and then you've got to get over here, and it's different. It's all so carefully choreographed. That yeah, but my emotions aren't choreographed. You know, it's still a booty you holding. You know? <laughs> what? Oh, you, just, what? Tell me, just tell me one thing. Are okay. you wearing eye makeup? Yes, I am. Good I'm Lord. I'm trying to be the prince of nighttime talk shows. I just yes. wanted to know that. Yes. <laughs> yes, I have, I, have, I have liner on. I have to, see, I, look at the bags under my eyes. See, I, I've been working very hard. You know, oh. if you look, if you get real close, you can see Louis Vuitton right on that one. <laughs> see the LV there? No, I, yes, yes. And everybody else in show business got on mascara. <laughs> I haven't had my nose done, though. Neither have I. Really? Yeah. I haven't had anything else done either, in case you were wondering. Oh, I know. <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> dynasty, dynasty. <laughs> no, let's talk about the uh, movie I just said. Okay, now is this the yeah. one where, because I saw on Entertainment Tonight, you the red hair and the, the curls ringlets and, and the and the low cut dress and yeah. the yes with what, Michael what York and Oliver Reed and Christopher Casanova it's going to be on Sunday the twenty second and I play a real bitch which was the first time for me <laughs> I knew no, he was going to no, react no 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 because now wasn't Holly a bitch well sort of at the beginning but not for very long because yeah, when she came in she was very nasty she was yeah but it didn't last I mean she was soon transformed into you know so she was a reformed bitch yeah. I don't know. <laughs> but this character I play is not reformed at all. She's, yeah. Which was great fun to do, actually. How are the trades treating you? The trades? Mm -hmm. All right. 
And the, and, and the rags? The rags. Oh, I'm engaged to your friend. <laughs> oh, yes. Did you see him? What did yeah, he think of that? Well, that um, was quite funny. He was like, well, introduce me to her. <laughs> you know? They said I was engaged to Eddie, but uh, we only met a couple of times, and I don't remember him proposing. Yeah. <laughs> That's weird. You know, we should... I, I found a number here, actually in the trades. This is in Variety, and the number is where you can plant information with the National Enquirer. And they give you money for untold stories. Oh, story. that's disgusting. It is. That isn't that disgusting. But you know I'm gonna call them. <laughs> and wait. what are you gonna tell them? Huh? I don't know. Them? Let's make up some. Can I? Sandy, is it all right? Sure. Yes. Okay. What are you? Gonna... <laughs> I'm not talking to these people. I hope you realize that. They lie all the time. Anyway, let's give them a lie. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Can the audience hear? Okay. What are you going to tell them? I don't know. We'll figure out something. Uh, uh, no, I got a feeling they work all night. <laughs> you have reached the exchange. Our operators are busy with other calls at the moment. But please stay on the line, and your call will be answered as quickly as possible. Good afternoon, 9872. Hi, 9872. This is Arsenio Hall. What you doing? What are we doing? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sitting here about, with about 400 people and Emma Sam's, and we were just calling because we got some dirt for you, baby. <laughs> oh, you do? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. What is the dirt? Huh? Oh, now, you take the, uh, the tips uh, for Hollywood? Huh? You take the National Enquirer tips for Hollywood? Yes. Okay, uh, now, you got a pencil? How much are they yes. for Yeah, 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 let me find out. Okay. How much, Your Emma, you want to Wait, wait, <laughs> huh? My name is Arsenio Hall, and I'm sitting with Emma Sams. Now, Emma Sams... And you're sitting with, with Emma Sams. Emma Sams. <laughs> and, um, uh, we just figured we'd give you the dirt. You know, um, now let me ask you something. How much do you pay? I can't answer that. See, see Is it good money? Like, is it more than, like, dirt. being a night manager at Arby's? What kind of money is it? Oh, no. Oh, no, it's more than Arby's. It's more than Arby's? Yep, it's more like a doctor's pay. Give it to you. Okay, Emma Sams and myself was separated at birth. I'm sorry, are you there? Are you on stage? Uh, yeah, I'm doing the show. I'm just here with a few friends. Um, why? Does that make a difference? No, it doesn't make a difference. I just hear everybody laughing in the background. <laughs> they don't believe it. Huh? Well, now, now, you understand the story, though. You got that down? No, but I'm going to write it now. Okay, write it. <laughs> also, I'm pregnant. Okay. And it's Louis Anderson's baby. <laughs> we got to take a commercial. If you need anything, call me at Paramount. You got all that? Wait a minute. Okay. Arsenio Hall and Emma Sams were separated at birth. Right. Lord help. And you know, now see, I know National Enquirer likes lies, uh -huh. but this is truth. I'm giving it to you myself. Separated at birth. You were pregnant. I'm no, I know now. Now I'm pregnant now. <laughs> pregnant now. See, I went on the road with Louis Anderson. You are pregnant by and I'm pregnant. Louis's pregnant too. <laughs> they do it. They show I didn't want you to think we make love to each other. We both pregnant. Yeah, yeah. And it's you're Dr. Ruth's baby. Who? But you're pregnant. It sounds by like who? some of the stuff we read. <laughs> Huh? By Louis who? <laughs> Louis Anderson. Yes, and who is he? Uh, he's a stand-up comedian from Minneapolis. Uh, he was a, a waiter in Coming to America. Very, you all know who he is, right? <laughs> you don't know who Louis Anderson is? No, and I don't know who you are either. Oh. <laughs> we'll be right back with Robert Downey Jr. and whoever I am. <laughs>